He will always be remembered by certain generations of TV viewers as J.R. Ewing, the most Machiavellian of TV villains and the star of a soap cliffhanger that, in the days when everyone watched the same programmes at the same time, gripped audiences around the world. The Dallas star Larry Hagman died in hospital yesterday, aged 81. It was the show of Stetsons, shoulder pads and scandal. It defined the Texan oil business and cowboys for millions and brought us perhaps the most likeable and detestable villain in television history. Of course, darling. J.R. Ewing, for anyone who hasn't watched the Channel 5 remake, was ruthless, amoral and peculiarly attractive to women, in the script at least. He bought a refinery. I don't know where he got his money, but I'm going to find out. I'm sure as hell going to find out and somebody's going to pay for it. The multi-generational saga helped define the 80s, was a fashion trendsetter and Larry Hagman stole the show. I'm going to cut him out if I have to destroy Ewing all to do it. J.R. Ewing here. Hello. Its peak in 1980 prompted a media frenzy around the globe with the attempted murder of the key character. You'll regret this. Is that a threat, Vaughn? A promise. You're a drunk and unfit mother. The sooner we have you put away in that sanitarium, the better off you're going to be. Hundreds of millions of fans desperately tried to work out who shot JR. <laughs> It became one of the great TV cliffhangers as the world was forced to wait for months. In the end, 20 million viewers in Britain alone tuned in to find out. <laughs> like JR, Larry Hagman was born in Texas, the son of an actress. Long before becoming a baddie, he first found stardom in the 60s sitcom I Dream of Jeannie, where the magical world of space travel met the far-out world of magic. Oh. oh, hello, Jay. Say, you wouldn't fix me a cheese sandwich, would you? His career stumbled after that from one small role to another until he got the big break on Dallas. Now an international star, he was invited to the White House to play the very antithesis of JR. How does it feel like playing a nice guy for a change instead of a bad guy? It feels wonderful. Ah, how sweet it is. In real life, Larry Hagman's years of heavy drinking and drug abuse did great damage. His life was only prolonged by a liver transplant. After some notable performances in the movies, just when his career seemed over, Dallas was revived after more than two decades. If this deal comes to a sticky end, I'm holding you responsible. Despite throat cancer, Hagman came out of retirement for the remake, alongside other members of the original cast and appeared at its London launch. You're a big part of the reason we're around to begin with, because uh, the media adopted our show here first out of all the countries outside of the United States. And I think because of that, it caught on much faster than it might have not caught on. And I really like it that to perform to people who can speak English. <laughs> Larry Hagman died in a Dallas hospital on Friday, aged 81. Family and friends, including Linda Gray, who played JR's long suffering wife Sue Ellen in the series, were at his side. One of the many to pay tribute to her co star, she said he was the Pied Piper of life and brought joy to everyone he knew. I will miss him enormously. <laughs>